Hey guys, Dashing Subtitle here, and in this video, as you can see, we're in a new draft league. This one's called the XPDLA, the Extreme Pokemon Draft League Association. So, I got fifth pick, and as you can see, I have the team above, which is Mew, Mega Scizor, which is Mew. Very versatile. Yeah, I am I haven't used me before and I'm excited to use it. Mega Scizor. Not so great in this league, and I'll tell you why in a, in a minute. Because, well, basically because Hidden Power, as you say on the team builder, is allowed. So, people can Hidden Power fire on Scizor, and that can be a bit of a problem. But, honestly, it shouldn't be a bit of a problem. Mandibuzz. Extremely bulky. I love Mandibuzz. After what's on an LPL. I mean, in SDL, I love Mandibuzz. It's such a good mod. And also, I, I have learned the Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz ways due, due to one certain individual, which is one of which is one of my friends. And so, yes. Um, Mandibuzz is very good. Knock off U-turn if I need it. Roost is... Um, Boots is always fantastic on Mandy. It's just a good mod. Superior. Um, very solid mod in him, Power Leagues, because... Uh, Contrary leaves from plus six and power can be scary to my opponents. Um, Swamper. Um, I really wanted to try out Swamper because I haven't tried it out before. And, and main reason why I want Swamper was because Scizor is we is only weak to fire. Swamper is only weak to grass. Those two complement complement each other so well, and that's fantastic. And then here we go at the round six, Tapu Coco. In a cut move league, yes, please give me that bird. Tapu Coco, base one thirty speed, ninety five special attack can run like can run modest on most weeks can run like oh I don't know can run like Thunderbolt of uh, Volt Switch. Hidden Power Ice is the main thing, so you can hit ground types. Um, like Death and Gleam is such a good mod. Chandelure, I did not, I, I, I wanted to sell them, which my opponent has, my opponent has, they grabbed it around the same round as Tempo Coco, so I'm like, okay, what's a replacement for Blue on? Well, Chandelure, of course, so I, I got, I got Chandelure, and w without even realizing that I have Scizor with a Flash Farm on is crazy, that's the crazy part. Then in transactions we traded Miss Magus, which I which I had originally to, to, for Weezing. Now Weezing is honestly the best Rotom Heat check just in general, cause Rotom Heat, cause if you if you don't know, Weezing gets neutralizing gets with hidden power and they can hit a hidden power ground with hidden power ground with on Rotom Heat and Oak Co. It's just fantastic, just just general. Fantastic. Um Abominable. I can see myself using it soon because like it's very good and I can see me using like I think the thing is it doesn't get hammer on but it gets ice hammer. Which is upsetting. And then, and then of course, you know we had to grab the best mon in this whole the best mon in the whole draft. You guys all lost. I have our model. Our model is so good. It's the best low tier mon. Ever. It has rocks. It has spin. It has knockoff. Those are also good utility. Also has toxic because it's it, it was here before Gen Sick Gen um Gen 8. Um can use X's or EQ Iron Tail if you want. Um it gets aqua shots. Give this thing U-turn Shell Smash and Sticky Webs and it's game over. You legit have a broken mod. Our model was so broken if it gets sticky webs, shell smash. If if our model gets sticky webs, shell smash, and you turn it's game over. Our model wins. Our, our, our model wins games if it got those three. But it's it's still very good for a two. A two pointer. It it should be at least seven or eight points because it's a it's so good and so fantastic. Enough of my, enough of my our our, our talk. So let's so let's see. So my opponent has Lando T, Mega Agron Florgus, Cradilly Blossephalon, 
Reggie Alecki, Alakazam, Fire Alligator, Galander Manton, and Tauros. And so, what we are bringing this first week, we so these team builder slides, we have the Pokemon, the, the name with a nickname, Eve, EV spread. I'm pretty sure you can see this, right? Let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure you can see this. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Okay, so. Um, nope, that's wrong. Okay, so you guys can see the mon, the name, the nickname, the EV spread, the nature, the moves, the ability, notes I have here, and you can see Seattle Siglos and my poems of New, New Jersey Aggrounds. So that's what the slides are going to be, and the slides honestly look very fantastic, so good job to me. I, I honestly made these, and they look so good. I love them. They, they look so good. The slides look so good. I love them. So let's see. So we have so our first one. We we are bringing superior. Um, yeah. Um, it's very good in Smash Up. He his only resists to grass are Agron and Blacephalon, which Hidden Power Ground hits both of those. Twenty four HP Max Puzzle Attack on two thirty two speed with Timid Nature. Sub glare leaves from him power ground. This thing uh this thing is mainly here for Tauros because well it's because Tauros hold on one second, I'm just pulling up uh I'm pulling up a a calc calc real quick or like I'll say this um calc since I, I I'm also on time so okay. Let me just import our sets, which are right here. Spoilers, 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 okay. I don't want you to see any of those sets I had current. Let me see, okay, just, just do this right now. Okay, back to slides. Okay, so, speaker of tutorials. So, I guess Mons want to stash me like Cradio or Florgus. Um, I could also see like a Toxic Lando coming, I guess. Uh, Anthokazam is, is a problem for my team because it can run. Like, I'm on the. the, the the threats I, I'm afraid of are Lando T, Agron Florgus. I, I see Alakazam 100% coming here because an uh, energy ball with hidden power or fire can just destroy me. And that's not good. And Glenda Marathon just rips from a team as well. So we're bringing a sub glare leaves from HP ground. Um, Yeah, glare can paralyze everything on my opponent's team. That I, I can also be everything besides Regilecki, and Regilecki is kind of well based there because I'm grass type, and all of Regilecki's electric attacks are resistant, all it has are electric attacks as coverage, so yeah, that's good. Um, contrary, obviously, to get the plus two plus one second leaves from leftovers item just to get some HP while I'm in my sub, and yeah, kind of standard, but, pre but pretty, but very good smash up. Next one we are bringing is uh, you saw you saw before, but we are bringing Tapu Coco named Round Six Coco because it's so incredibly how it got Round Six Coco. Again, we are speed creeping Tauros because wait, why did I? That's cringe on me. I'm one thirty speed and I see an Alex M's one twenty. I I I could speed creep that, but oh well. The bells the the bells been done already. Um. Lando T, Agron, Lando T, Mega Agron, Tor, um, like the fastest mod. I thought it was Taurus, but it's Alakazam. It's just like uh, we're on though. I was checking the calc so in the, during the battle. So we have 80 HP, max attack, and 176 speed. Speaker for Taurus. I need one call mind boost to Oko Lando with an HP Ice. Good predictions can get around this set. Shukaberry is for Lando. Like, if he brings in Lando, and I can go with it, go with it, go with it, go with it, get around this set. Um, suppose just call mind up and go roost up, which is fantastic. Um, Thunderbolt can be good. Thunderbolt hits everything besides Lando and HPIS. This was Lando once again, call common boost. So that's my Coco set. Um, next mod we are using, oh yeah, electric search ability. Uh, yeah, um, no, it's, yeah, okay, uh, I reset those. Okay, so yeah. Basically, like, yeah, okay, so, next, our third mod we are bringing is Chandelure, not, also known as as Lumiere. Speed Curve for Tauros. 
Um, well, actually, I'm not speaking of Taurus, but I, I'll speak it if I am stuck. If I still have my scarf. Mental stuff small like, like Lando, Reggie Lucky, Fred, Gary, Glenda, Manta, and Taurus. And like I can set up my Muse, Sweet, is Shindler is low. Plus, her is for an Alex and Nolan's run Magic Guard, Life, or Vampire Fire. Because if you do not know, if I put in the calc I have here, if you put in, if I put in my Just Miss Scizor, just, let's see, Alex Uh, see, it destroys me, so just, don't look at my, um, my EV Express, we're, we're, we're about getting that, because my Fire Blast, um, just, does a lot of damage to create a Leaf Floor, guess, a lot of damage to make Aggron, Shadow Balls is, is just for the rest. Fire Blast is also for Tauros as well. Speaking of my Scissor set, here we go. Mega Scissor, also known as Tall Man, because he is a very tall man. Um, we have 50 HP, 200 attack, 50 special defense, 200, 200 speed giant nature. Bullet Punch, Agility, Swords, and Knockoff. Ability Technician, we are bringing Double Dance Mega Scissor. A speed Crypt to Ospi Scarf for South One after, after an Agility Boost, which is fantastic. Double Dance Mega Scissor hits everything well except Mega Aggron. Like, honestly, it does. Oh, let's a little fire blast from Life Force, Shift Force, Toros. Like, let's, like, from my, honestly, I live from a Jolly Enclosure. Like, let's see. Um, Toros. If it's Life Forward with Fire Blast. Just of, uh, uh, random Fire Blast on there just to catch a Mega Scizor. I, I live that, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, um, that's mainly those. Um, so, currently, we are bringing Superior, Tabu Kogo, Chandelure, and Scizor. Now, actually, I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to be editing, I'm going to honestly be doing something cool in the future with these slides, because I thought them were pretty cool. Um, so, um, yes, um, Swampert, um, Finn the Swampert. No, it's one smack at Aggron. So this is kind of a meme set. Max HP, max attack, force battle spells, and and Adam Nature with once with Amnesia EQ rollout defense curl. Once Mega Aggron is gone, his only rock resist his, his only rock resist is Mega Aggron. Rollout defense curl swamper kinda goes in. Rindleberry Rindleberry helps me free against creatures of him power grass Bucephalon, slash Orange Ball Florgus. Ability torrent. Um, yeah, this is kind of kind of wrecks once I get a roll on Richard Lucky, Alkazam, and just once you get at least two up, it just it just rolls on and I win. And our the final mod we are bringing this week is Mew, also known as Twinkle. As you see, my opponent, where is your dark type? Where is your dark type? None. So we are bringing cousin, cousin power, sword power, Mew. Outspeed Scarf for self one after agility. Cosmic power has roost ag against everything that isn't Aggron. Since my opponent does not have a dark type. After positive boost, one agility and one cosmic power just does a, a lot of after positive boost, which is plus two. One agility and one calm mind just let them to my whole point. Can they get crunch from a life force to reverse for again and get positive boost and sweep end game? Like I, I honestly. I also sweep with this get with this set. Um so just thing that kind of ability. Yeah, my speed, um, I guarantee I'll be a scarf a, a scarf blasty, which is fantastic. So and then that's the last mon on this on the scene. So you guys are gonna see this right here. The battle against my opponent. And so we're just gonna do something pretty fun. We need that for real quick. And so, as you know, we have the battle right here. It's right here. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to do some work off screen so you guys can see what we're going to be adding to the um, slide soon. Um, I'm just going to add this for that slide. Add. Just so I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just doing something pretty fun. 
So, um, yeah. Um, so, my calcs would be correct for this battle. Um, yeah, um, this is just gonna be kind of fun, because you, 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 you guys are actually gonna like this, I, I think. I hope, at least. So if if you haven't enjoyed the if you have if you, if you haven't clicked the like button yet, I su I suggest you do so. I'm gonna bring you guys a lot of Pokemon content, and yeah, um, I'm gonna be talking about some Pokemon things like honestly I like in Pokemon. Like I I'm gonna possibly bring you guys a a uh, video on how I team build. So look out for that. And so then we, so and, and I'm on the last slide, and here we go. I'm about to finish it, and we can continue with the battle. So I'm not gonna do this for, for my for my week two battle because I already record that because it's the next week from this going up is week three. So let's go to here. Okay. So hey guys, uh, my cards are cool. Okay, so we have yes, this is just my this is the dog for the league. That was a Canva I have for my thumbnails because thumbnails are cool. So yeah, okay. So and we look we look here. I'm like hmm. Let's see. So I'm like okay. What's my bone glue? I'm like I was like. So my opponent brings the Blacephalon, the Mega Agron, the Lander Therian, the Cradilly, the Florgus, and the Feraligator. Fantastic. These are all what I expected. Um if I if I look at my um slides, um oh yeah, no no Alakazam, which is, which is surprising. I 100 percent thought that was coming. I kind of I kinda of expected Reggie Lucky, but makes sense. I, I honestly kinda expected the Regieleki with Sheer Force, um, uh, with, no, what, what am I saying, she was Regieleki, no, I, I expected the Regieleki with Rising Voltage, since I have Terrams Coco, and Coco King and Rising Voltage, so yeah, so, let, let's play the battle, so, I lead with, with Coco, and they lead with Cradilly, I'm like, okay, this, I, I can stop a command here, and they go for self -focus. I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. I go for another call mind here, and I, I misplay here, because he, he can, you know, pod with Toxic, which can be bad. I sort of I sort of went into Scizor here, and just set up an SD, or honestly, an agility to a problem with Blacephalon, and then Oko them with knockoff, and yeah, that would have been good. But I get poisoned, and here, I I, 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 I legit misplay so so badly here with this Coco. I legit just sack everything just for this Coco, which is not good at all. Like honestly, I sack all of my mons because of bad because of good predictions for my opponent. I legit just get toxic stalled on this Coco. Which should, this is literally one of my worst plays in my whole draft career. In my whole draft. In all of drafts. So yeah, um I roost up because like I mean and he gets a double protect on Florgus, which is unfortunate. So here now I'm okay. Well, let's let's go into Superior and we go for they're gonna create Cradilly. I go for Glare to try and paralyze them, and I do. And that, and now I go for a substitute. They cannot toxic because I'm in a substitute. And now they're gonna land out. I am immune. Now uh, let's see, so, Lando, Superior, Lando Therian. whoops, that's caps lock, okay, so, that is 47%, is this a sword dust? Yeah, that's just no percent of sword dust, I assume this is max HP. Which it does. I got a low roll. But now, um, I Sunoko it here, which I do because I'm plus two. And now I am plus three special deck. And let's see. What are my pawn switches to plus four superior? Let's see. So you get knocked out. Hmm, let's see. So we have Agron. 
with Ag Agron. Mega Agron gets destroyed by HP ground since it's already taking damage. So the Coco Play wasn't actually worthless. So okay, I, that, I'm fine with that. So they go for this one. Okay, I'm fine with this. I kind of just go um for me storm. Oops. Okay, so some one percent. That means they have to be they have to be spell spit off. They have to be spit off um Forgus, which they are. And and that's to know that when this comes out, I I go for hidden power ground here. I, no, I, I go I go I go for glare because I cause I, because I do not I do not waste all my least on power points, so I just go for that there. Um and leaf storm. Oakus Lorgus, because I'm a plus six. It does do so. They're 89. Yeah, that was in roll. That was in range. Okay, so. Agron, I, I, I just go for hand power ground. Let's see. Agron Mega. Plus six. 74%. Yeah, that's a mineral. With max, with essential max between 200 death and Agron. Yeah, that's. The, the main rule I could get. Well, someone comes out, I, I see it as Scarf, which breaks my sub. Go for hand power ground instead. Let's see Blacephalon. Blacephalon is Scarf. I go for hand power and ground instead. I could have one for Leaf Storm, but I didn't want to. And plus, hand power ground is reflective and 100% accurate. I go for sub here because I know that they can't um, do anything because they have they have so many moves really. They can hurt Break my sub. Leaf Storm misses, misses, which is unfortunate. Um, take some damage. Um, I go for Empower because I don't want to waste all my Leaf Storms because I need one Leaf Storm for, for Alligator in the end. So I'm just trying to use Hidden Powers until I can. So they just go for South Dark because they can't really do much on, on this Cradilly. I go for the Storm. Oko's. Like to see Cradilly. Um, Leaf Storm Oko's. I kind of some Oko's. And now, for alligator comes out, which for alligator, the chocos. Just do some real quick. Um, let me just do this. And now, I'm going back to the slot. I'm going back to the battle, which is right here. So now, we at least I'm finished off for alligator. And so, yes. So. Superior just won that game, which was fantastic. So let's go back to the slides and let's show you. So we have this. So as you can see, we have a we have a stat sheet. So we are one oh my opponent is oh one. Is we are one oh my opponent is oh one. So Superior got five kills. Hypercoco got one death and everything on Landorus, Mega Agron, Florigus, Cradilly, Blacephalon, and Fralligator got one death and Cradilly got one kill. So that's it for my, me and my opponent's cousin death stat match. And so yes, what I'm going to be doing in the future, not for a week too much because as you know, that match, was, that match has already been recorded. So for those, watch and watch and um, I don't know how I watch here. Boom. We're gonna be highlighting the mons in green from now on. Not for week two, but for week three, week four, week five, week six, seven, week eight, week nine. Because there are nine weeks. And boom, we are gonna be doing that. So we are one one we are one oh in the XPDLA and so I played well. Um even if even if Superior went down and I didn't have a sub up against Blacephalon. Mew just swept, or Sansa Swamper just swept. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys. So I hope we do better next week. So I do. I hope we are two zero next week instead of one one next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, my top tower squad, and to everyone else that's watching. Peace. Okay, we're just gonna do okay. So. Peace out my subtitle squad and to everyone else that's watching. Thank you.